It was now officially Elle's second day at camp. Tristan took her to the training grounds. It was a large patch of dirt away from all the buildings. This was so that the fire dragons didn't start too big of a fire, but the earth dragons could still use their abilities. Elle felt a little out of place. Everyone here already knew each other. The only one training that she knew was Anora. Come on, Elle. We might have a chance to win this one. We've got Abrakan on our team. Elle wasn't so sure. This kid looked scrawny. And he also looked an awful lot like that tiny kid she saw being thrown over the shoulder of the burly kid that happened to be on the other team. Anora caught Elle's unsure face. She smirked. What's wrong? Don't believe me? Elle shrugged. I saw him. And that other kid over there yesterday. He didn't look like he could win a fight. Anora chuckled. That's because they weren't using their abilities. Rowan will always win when strength is involved, but Abrakan is pretty good in a dragon fight. You will always win if they happen to be on the same team. Today, we get some entertainment, though. They're actually against each other. Are they always fighting? Not always. Believe it or not, they're actually best friends. Anora took Elle by the hand and led her to the rest of her team. There was one fire dragon, one earth dragon, a water dragon, and then Elle and Anora. The other team had a similar structure. The only difference was that even on both sides, Rowan stood out. He might have been nine years old, but he was big. Luckily, that meant she could easily keep an eye on him in the battle. She would be used for her stealth attacks. With her papa's training, she knew how to be sneaky. The moment the bell rung to announce the start of the match, Elle fell into her shadow and moved along the ground. She could still easily see in the general area. She could see everyone on the opposite team except Rowan. Wait, Rowan? How did someone that big just disappear? She got her answer when she felt someone grab her underground. She was lifted out of her shadow by a burly hand that belonged to Rowan, who just raised out of the dirt. Hello. I see you're pretty strong for a new girl. Did you train yourself before you got to camp? I thought you would be the weak one. Elle was surprised. He was quieter than she expected. Still, he was too cocky. She kicked one foot off the ground, which gave her the momentum to kick out with her other foot. She kicked him square in the chest and landed perfectly when he let it go. She went on the attack. She punched at him and he dodged every move. He was agile for his size. She quickly learned not to judge how people move based on their appearance anymore. What she did see was that Abrakan was quickly moving towards her. She was a distraction, and he was going to use her to go after Rowan. She watched as Abrakan reached out and just touched Rowan's back. The burly kid arched his back in shock as a tiny bit of lightning flew from Abrakan's hand into Rowan. Abrakan winked at Elle. I'd like to thank you for keeping Rowan occupied. He likes to hide in the ground where my lightning can't reach him. The poor wimp. You just let me get my hands on you, and I'll show you who the wimp is. Rowan reached out for Abrakan, but he nimbly dodged out of the way. He started to float in the air just out of reach of Rowan. Oh, you almost had me. Would you care to try again? Rowan chuckled. <laughs> I sure would. He stomped his foot and earth leapt from the ground and hit Abrakan's feet, knocking him a bit off balance even though he was flying. Elle took a few steps away for her own safety. She watched in fascination for a few moments before Anora ran up to her. Anora chuckled. I told you that Abrakan would win this. Elle nodded. Rowan was giving him a good fight, but it was clear that Abrakan was just toying with him. Elle looked at the rest of the fighters, but it seemed that Rowan's team had been defeated and the remaining members were all watching the rowan Abrakan fight. It finally got to the point where Abrakan decided he was finished. He flew a little higher, then plummeted toward the ground. When he landed, a spread of lightning flew across the ground and hit Rowan. It would have hit others as well, but they all knew to stay out of the way. Rowan screamed as he collapsed on the ground. It was a few moments later when Rowan stood up. He held out his hand as he left. Abrakan helped him to stand again. One of these days, I'm going to defeat you in a dragon battle. 
ever can put an arm around Rowan. <laughs> Good luck. Honora laughed. I think it's safe now. She grabbed Elle's hand and they ran toward the boys. Abrakan! Rowan! This is Elle! She arrived yesterday! Rowan put an arm around Elle. You held your own out there. I want you on my team next time. Abrakan shook his head. You can't have her! Both of you are fighting underground! Who will be distracting you so I can defeat you one more time? Elle chuckled. I feel like I want to have a chance to defeat both of you at the same time. The two boys burst out laughing. Rowan patted her on the back, which almost knocked the wind out of her. Oh, I like this one. Come on, let's go get a snack and plot out how you think you could defeat us. Rowan quickly picked up Abrakan under his arm and began to run. Rowan, put me down! Let's go! I'm hungry! Honora and Elle quickly followed, laughing the entire way. Elle wasn't sure how she fit in, but the other kids here were definitely fun. Fitting in might not be as difficult as she thought it would be.